Good morning, and congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you all Wheatley teachers and staff, as well as friends and family, especially my parents, for helping me thrive in high school. I'd like to begin with the first few lines of the poem Speak by Pakistani poet Fez Ahmed Fez. Speak, for your lips are yet free. Speak, for your tongue is still your own. As we become what people call adults, we're expected to abandon our childhood fears and face the world head on. We're called upon to share our opinions, to vocalize our social and political stances. And the weight of that pressure to make the right decisions, to be on the right side of history, can be a lot. For many of us, silence is safety. We avoid even learning about what's happening in the world or about people who are different from us so that we don't have to pick a side. But as we all go our separate ways, I implore you to speak. Of course, I don't claim to be an expert on this topic. In fact, it's a bit ironic for me to be advocating for speaking when anyone who knows me would say I'm not much of a talker myself. Coming to Wheatley in ninth grade as one of the only hijabis in the school was a huge shock. Growing up, I had been surrounded by fellow Desis and Muslims and hadn't really been in an environment dominated by people who were so much more different than me before. Surprisingly though, people opened up to me. I made friendships that I know will last a lifetime because of the people who spoke to me first. I, on the other hand, have something of a track record with being terrible at speaking up. Third quarter of ninth grade, I started the course Fashion Marketing, which I was convinced would take place in room 213. So you can imagine my shock when I entered the classroom, the bell rang, the teacher started a history video, and all I could wonder was what could Theodore Roosevelt possibly have contributed to the field of fashion? It took a while for it to dawn on me that I was surrounded by eighth graders and definitely in the wrong classroom. For the next 20 minutes, I stood in the hallway, balanced my Chromebook on a hand, navigated parent portal, discovered my classroom was actually room 216, and then dealt with the entire fiasco of figuring out whether I had to open the door to 216A or 216B. Spoiler alert, it was 216A. But looking back on all that, I can't help but think about how much unnecessary stress and time I could have saved if I had the simple courage of asking what class we were in instead of doing an elaborate any mine mo between 216A or 216B. Throughout high school, I've learned a lot of things that I hope to take into the next chapters of my life, and I hope that you can consider these things as well. Coming from an incredibly awkward person who has probably embarrassed herself more times than can be counted, let yourself be embarrassed. Let yourself make mistakes. Let yourself change your opinion about a topic after learning more about it. People will forget about the embarrassing things you do or say. For example, I'm sure Dr. Lazarus does not remember the time he raised his fist to me for a fist bump and I stared at it for a long 10 seconds like it was a foreign creature. Okay, so maybe not everything can be forgotten, but remember embarrassment is not eternal. Sure, it may feel like the end of the world in the moment, but regret, unlike embarrassment, lasts much longer. So ask the questions that plague your mind, no matter how dumb they may seem. You attaining the knowledge necessary to develop your own morals is so much more important than the seconds of cringe you experience when you speak up. Otherwise, it is so easy to get caught up in popular opinions. Take a look at our own school. Everybody here is convinced that iced coffee is the epitome of good drinks, but I have to say, we could be doing better people. I mean, have you heard of bubble tea? On a more serious note, historically, blindly believing popular opinions has proven to be disastrous. Acts that we can now clearly see as unjust used to be accepted by everybody, so do not underestimate the value of attaining knowledge of your own, for we can speak. Our lips are yet free. 
Speak for those who cannot speak for themselves and stand up for any injustice that you see. Educate yourself about international dilemmas, including the ethnic cleansings of Palestinians and Uyghur Muslims. Families are continuously torn apart and real human lives are being lost but ignored. Educate yourself on the widespread issues that plague our planet and threaten our very existence in the long run. Consider global warming with the gravity that it needs to be looked at with. And never stop speaking about these issues until they are resolved. To end on FaZe's poem, speak. The truth is still alive. Speak. Say what you have to say. Although many of us may leave high school with things we wish we had done, take the opportunities that await you to live with less fear or ignorance. Open whatever doors you see, whether it be to room A or room B, without something as inconsequential as embarrassment holding you back, for you can speak. Thank you.